Five, four, three, two, one. It's not recording. <laughs> oh, this is awkward. <laughs> What's the record button, dearie? Come on. Oh, it's, I've changed it. Oh, that's right. Oh, yes, of course. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Welcome. I am Red Wolf. Let's play Life is Strange Episode 4 Dark Room. You guys have been like, Red, why aren't you playing Life is Strange Episode 4 Dark Room? It's out, man. Okay, so obviously we played episodes 1 to 3. Fantastic game. Um, in case you guys haven't seen the last episode and you, and you need to catch up, spoiler alert. Get out, of, get out of here, right? Go! Get out of here! Uh, last episode, Chloe ended up in a wheelchair because we went back in time and changed the history! Um, now the things are all different. Cause, cause, time stuff. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield, hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Wow, am I ever glad that we got to see previously on because I would have been completely lost. Totally forgot about the whales on the beach. <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> Super exciting. Okay. Come on, please do whales on beaches. Ooh, that looks nice. Is that a crab? What's that thing moving on the sand? What the hell is that? Am I supposed to do something? Square Enix presents seagulls. <laughs> and two bikes, one of them's knocked over. And a beached whale. No idea what's going on right now. <laughs> all, the, all the whales is, is a mystery. So is everybody invisible today? What, what's going on? Life is Strange, Episode 4. Dark Room. And a small running underneath as opposed to a roomless light. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh. This is quite a long and slow introduction, but it's nice though. Lots of nice uh, scenery and stuff. It looks like uh, the graphics are like people just like colored on paper, but it looks really cool. We like it. We it's like it a lot. 
Weird, hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, no, it's not pretty awkward. much. Yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. Oh. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. It's when everybody pees at once. Those beached whales are so sad. Uh, um, kind of know how they feel. They look dead. At least I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Talk about accident and blame William? Oh. Okay. So she must have gotten into a car accident that, uh, Will is William his, her father? I See, I don't remember the little details like that. Um, I don't know if she wants to talk about the accident either. So I'm actually just gonna, um... I'm just gonna go blame William, see what she says. You don't really blame William, do you? For getting me the hybrid I wanted for my sweet 16? No, I blame the asshole who cut me off and sent me into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. Oh, lovely. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Vanishing out of the blue? You mean Rachel? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? Huh. This is such oh. a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. This is all completely different. You think? It might be. Let's freak her out. It might be! It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None oh. taken. Right. Wow. So she is like completely different. Um. I was gonna say a bad joke. <laughs> but just think of something yourself. I don't wanna say it. Alright, carrying on. Look, a seagull! Isn't that beautiful? Seagull there. So I have a theory that. That um, people are being abducted and sacrificed by the Vortex Club. Mwah. I hope this. I hope that's what it is. I mean, I not not that I don't really. I mean, I just hope I'm right because then I look like I'm a genius or something. Not really. Okay, carrying on. No, oh, that chair is knocked over. Oh, 
God, what would that even be it's like? A pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. Wow. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, <laughs> I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Oh my god. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Did she still eat through her mouth or did she have to, like, put it down a tube or something? This is messed up. Okay. Uh, man, I just, this is horrible. Look, she's coughing now. Why? Don't make this any more horrible than it has to be. What's this button do? A medical ventilator. Oh, man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. Did she carry that around in the wheelchair with her? I didn't see it. A lifter. Okay. What does she need again? Oh yeah, water. Right, yeah. Huh. Okay, hold on a sec. That's a serious heat lamp. Yeah, man. I'm just looking at some stuff. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Yeah, man. She likes uh, fluffy hot dogs, apparently, too. Uh, snow globes. Snow globes are taking over. Oh my god. Let's get our snow globes. Look! A skateboard. You'll never be able to use that, one. I'm oh, gonna give you a picture of it. Dough. I guess not everything changed. It's one of those things like how I, I would never really know how to treat somebody. I mean, not treat somebody like. Uh, I mean, like, if this was like to happen to my friend, like, how would you. How do you hang out? Like, what do you do? Like, you just. You, you, man! That's. Crazy. Okay, here we go. Let's get her some water anyway. She's thirsty. Drink up, Buttercup. So cute. Oh, oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? <laughs> I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? That doesn't sound horrible. Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. We were. Seems like yesterday. What do you remember? I want to know what uh, she remembers. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. Uh, yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No <laughs> way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Hmm. Which friends? Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. Megan Weaver. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Okay, um, they love you. They love you. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay? God, this is so... This is sad. What the fuck? Oh, shit. I get it. <laughs> My bad. Okay, can they pay? Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe. How? You're priceless. Uh, 
No pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. <laughs> I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not okay. fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. I swear. Not when you're here. Not yet. I swear I won't fall... Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go see what else she has around her rim. Look, a wheelchair! I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Yeah, man. Is that for never mind. Look and read. You can't you can't make jokes about this kind of stuff, man. This is too sensitive. Look and read. Make a wish foundation. Oops. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Yeah. Thinking I wonder of who you. this is. Kind of a generic card. Dear Chloe, I'm so sorry for what happened. Know that I'm here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better. XOXO Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like I just took a shit, etc. I know your life is so different now and I don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you are well. Love, Meh Max. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Oh yeah, look, I'm walking. Jesus Christ, man, I'm gonna smack you upside the head. Okay, cool, man. She's a lot of cool stuff here. Um, control, what? Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. You had to use your mouth, I think. That's actually really cool, yeah. So I'm going to use her computer. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive it. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. So what are you doing? Talk with you. Haha, <laughs> no shit. I'm about to binge on Quantum Leap. Oh my god! Love. Scott Bakula rules. So do you. I hope we can meet soon. Not if you're in San Francisco with Bob Saget. Hey, I have to take care of some body work. If you know what I mean. Let me get back to you while you're ba bringing, binge, binging on Bakula. You better. Hello? 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 God damn it. So we need to watch a movie. So, um, God, there's so much here that we can look at and stuff. I just don't want to take too long. I need a tissue. So I have an issue. Really? Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. Yeah, the butterfly thing. Butterfly. <laughs> Oh man, let's search her she drawers. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. You use you can use lotions to keep your blood going around, really? Because Nothing she can't move. Medical supplies. What about ele electrical stimulation? Would that uh, do anything? I guess people would have to come in and, like move her extremities Max, and stuff. So cool that you're here again. I know. I'm glad you think so. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. Yeah, man. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund. Okay. Even if it wasn't another reality. Okay. Blackwell Academy. Okay, 2011. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, as principal, I am in sympathy, sympathy with your numerous requests for Chloe's special needs in regards to her wheelchair and class accessibility. Blackwell prides itself on making sure students with disability receive full compliance under the Americans with Disability Act. However, given that the campus and buildings have all been constructed pre-1977, our school has not yet undergone the modern renovations necess necessary 
to fulfill all the needs of your daughter and her regrettable condition. Sadly, with recent deplorable federal cuts in education, it will take many more fundraisers to fully update Blackwell Academy. Chloe is without a doubt an amazing student with great potential despite her handicap, and I believe she would, would find a more fitting, rewarding scholastic environment at the H. West Miss Miskatonic Institute in Bolton. They have a rich legacy of disabled graduates, and I know that Chloe would achieve her usual academic leadership in a more comfortable surrounding. Okay. Basically, like, and fuck you. <laughs> you go to a different school. Okay, which one did I search? This one? Despite everything, they're still a happy family. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating, too. I know, man. I think she just loves a horse head that people wear. It's not really the skating. Okay, let's uh, let's get the show on the road here. Um, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to find it. It won't be in there. Oh you my watch. Oh god, I made that mix for her when we were twelve. You're a good artist. Good artist, very good. I uh, very impressive. Ah, uh, here's the DVD. All right, let's stick the DVD in the hole. We'll do the zip zang diddly diddly. All right. Okay, hey, where do I sit? Where do I get a comfy spot to lay down? Uh, man, I'm jealous. <laughs> Go sit on this rickety wooden chair. No popcorn? Oh, she. <laughs> I want some popcorn. Um. Wow, this is like the most awkward movie watching ever. the hell man Chloe's looking at her like this like I'm gonna get you <laughs> <laughs> oh shit oh that bed's got legs oh never mind oh So what, I guess she's gonna go investigate this dark room thing that we learned about in the previous episode. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me, and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Are you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. <laughs> it's the company I keep. <clears throat> Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <laughs> uh, fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, oh, lovely. Can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? Jesus. It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, oh, no. right? I'm on it, Chloe. Getting head pains? Getting them headaches? Getting them migraines? What kind of... Bathroom area. Gas mask optional. Okay. Where is she? It was upstairs, right? Oh, my God. Okay. Well, before we do that, you know we have to interact with everything first. Eiffel Tower. Bonjour. That's great, they finally went to Paris. Isn't that wonderful? What? I can rewind? Why? What? Why does it Damn. matter if I This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. How much is it? $8,587 for basic supplies? What the fuck? Holy shit! 
I mean, excuse me, but jeez, man. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. It's not linked to car keys. She had a terrible accident. Look. Yep. That's the same graffiti from before. Yep. No, I don't think Joyce's tips will cover all this. Her tits? What? These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. I wonder what is going on. Let's have a look. Choice is a food coupon boss. Okay, fascinating. So not everything is really something that's necessary to take a look at, but so often people complain that... Don't change that despair anymore. Now it's back to cookies. So often people uh, get a little... Not, I would say angry. I, mean, I wouldn't even say upset. Maybe a little annoyed that I missed something that they wanted me to see because I wasn't checking stuff. You know what I mean? Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. But now they do! They're drowning in debt. Just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Yeah, man. Uh, due to the recent state and federal cuts, we regret to inform you that our your health insurance no longer covers Chloe's physical rehab. We can reinstate Chloe at a standard rate of 1250 per week, week, week. Alright, let's go upstairs. What's her room look like now? Oh wait, no. Her room's downstairs. Oh. You should rent that out. Need a little extra cash on the side. At least we never had to hide from step douche. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. I have no idea. That is, this is why we keep playing, because we're trying to figure this out. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Uh, thank you for uh, keeping me updated Hold on. on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. What the hell is that? It's a giant like mosquito in here. I'm so sorry that I can't help you with a loan at this time. Yeah, right. Box of toys. Look, look. Sit. Height chart. I guess we stopped growing up together. Good job. I never heard much about William's brother. Okay. Uh, sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been pulling up and I've been sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check. Um, maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Thanks for the bill, Bill. Okay. I don't really think we're gonna see much in there. Okay, her morphine injector. Um. The uh, 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 bathroom. Morphine injector. Hello. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. It's cool that she uses medicine with no evidence to back it up. Nothing here. <laughs> well, I guess... The bathroom no. looks almost the same. Just more medicine. I mean, if it was homeopathic medicine, <laughs> well, then I would, that would be true. <laughs> I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Delivering morphine? I don't know if we can go this way. Yeah, we can. See, there's all the stuff that we can do that basically takes... I mean, we could probably be halfway through the story by now. But... You got oh, to Max, take... it is so nice to have you around. Sorry. I, I thought... Mm, no, awkward. Okay. Let's have a look. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. No idea. I'm just looking through the drawers. They don't even William care. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. Okay. Let's have a look through all their stuff. Hey, look, your bills. Oh, you don't no. mind. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. Okay. Dear Mr. Price, as we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of weakening. This accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath. 
As a doctor, I'm committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I'm proud to be working with her. I just want you as parents to prepare for any and all possibility. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing condition. If you would like to discuss further, you have been kind. Batteries not included. I guess I get to talk to her. I'm gonna look in your drawer first. Joyce is already a super mom. Hmm. Okay. Good morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Joyce, Chloe, William. Chloe, William. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I... Lucky to have him. Uh, uh, William still the same? Chloe and William. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. Yeah. Okay, I'm actually gonna just leave. I don't think I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. It's probably an excruciating pain. Here I am looking at other financial bills and everything else, snooping around their rooms. I better get down there. She's gonna have something to say about it, probably. What took you so long? Jesus. I wish there was a. I wish I could run a little God faster, but you damn, can't. Damn, the bills never end. Yeah. <laughs> they come once a month. Okay. Got you something. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Where do you, where do, um, you do it? Okay, but. Get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. No, I hate looking at pictures. It's one of the things that is drives me nuts. Where'd you say it was again? Oh. Man, in real life, now I gotta look at photos in the game? Okay, here we go. Let's get this over with. Maybe I can go back in time in the photo. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Maybe she'll find one. This is the day before the accident. Oh, really? Let me just have a closer look at this picture. <laughs> a little hyper today. I hate not being able to talk. Oh, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Turn the page. On a long and lonesome highway. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo, 
Maybe I could... Do it! Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? Horrible. What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. What? Are you kidding me? You, you better go back in time. <laughs> this shit is broken. Refuse. Oh my god, I can't do it. I will find a way to save your life. Don't you worry about it. I can't do it. There's no way. Oh, I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will. Oh my God. I, I, Can you I just can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Shed. Chloe, I am never leaving you again. All right, you gotta fix this. You you broke it. You broke it. <laughs> I'm sorry, William. This is more important. Come on. Ready? I got this. Let's get my rewind powers focused. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, baby, here we go. Time to fix it. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Why don't you find out who it was and then go to the person's house and like slash their tires or something? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Jeez, Don't burn it! Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting sessions. Dad, now you can't go back. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. And now he's going to die. What? Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but Come on, you have made things different, like my whole life. 
You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. You sound a little suspicious. She's gonna be like, why did she say that? And then later, my dad died. <clears throat> huh. She's a suspect. Go back to what was his name, David Madsen? Mustache has to go. No. Just gonna kill someone for his birthday cake. Oh, that must be it. right. Okay. Man, this is so messed up. Wait, what? before um already she's back in her dorm I think and she's in there with her Chloe you're back I've been here the whole time. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Huh. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not yeah. anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Get up. It's time to solve the mystery. She's not in her Let's dorm. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. So this is back exactly? Whatever happened to the butterfly effect, man? Everything should even no. Whatever. Alright, pieces, board, examine. So close yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. The Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Yeah. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Hmm. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. Right. Okay, so there's all this stuff here that we can check out in this room. I mean, just- I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. This butterfly photo seems like a million okay. years ago. How much time have I altered? How much blah, time blah, blah, blah. have I altered? Beautiful. I'm so sorry, William. It's okay. not fair you had to die twice. So make sure I'm not missing anything here. Ashtray, she smokes, photo, oh, oh my god, the photos, oh my god, um, what, oh, I missed one, no, because I haven't had a chance yet, 
Okay. Let's, uh, photo here. I think that did the yeah, there's that one there. So then we got the stones, bird nest. Um looks like two tails making a heart. Okay. Papers. Look. So you Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. I understand it's very story driven, but I hate how it's like I the littlest the shit. shit. Like, oh look, bed. No, not that. I don't know, it's lit like Look, with this thing here. That's my Chloe. I don't know. There's too much stuff to click on. Alright, let's go. Oh no. That poor little bird has been trapped in here. Again. I'm pretty sure it went this way. Yeah, it is. Where is it? Oh! Ah! Shoo, shoo! Now I gotta shoo, shoo this thing down to, uh... Probably the window here, maybe? Yep. Okay, birdie. So time to go. Fly. Be free. I hear another bird. I can hear another bird. Alright, now we gotta go mess around in, in uh, Madsen's garage again, I guess. Sneaking by. Hey, a uh, nice briefcase. Dark room. Spill it. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Oh, don't you wander off into the dark. Room. Hint, hint. A note. Looks like David already booked a room. Yeah, man. That's crazy, man. Oh, what's he want? Yo, yo, Max, your friend Chloe texted me and I'm home the loop now. She sounds hot. What? What? Uh, sh she sounds hot, so I get why. Chloe actually texted you. I sure didn't have her number. At least I still get the get to go ape with you, unless you want to chill with Chloe, or we could all go. One pain in the ass is enough. Cool. I have the jet. Okay. Something on the television. Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? Some weird stuff, I'll tell you. Sits. Newspaper. Let me guess, I can go aside too, right? God damn it! There's so much stuff to click on. Look at all the dead birds now! Poor birds. I guess David wasn't in the mood to clean up. That's kind of ridiculous, man. All them birds What the hell's this? William never finished painting that wall. Why would you leave it? All right, let's uh, let's just go into the uh, garage here. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. About the dark room. Email, probably in here. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time, if there is one. As per our discussion with the new campus surveillance system, Miss Grant has informed me that her petition was only one avenue of protest. While we initially, okay. Oh meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. At least he has one weird fan. I just wanted to let you know that I think it's bullshit what happened to you and the school has too many libtard metrosexuals who don't appreciate you or the military. I felt safe in my dorm when you were in charge and I thought about you protecting- Wish I had okay. surveillance footage of that conversation. I apologize for my outburst yesterday in your office. I was upset about losing my position at Blackwell without a complete investigation of the facts and based solely on the claims of untrustworthy students. Right. Map. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. 
Okay. Okie dokie. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He Joyce. should finish this letter to Joyce. Joyce, you know I'm not good at explaining myself or why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that nobody has ever understood me the way you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I overstepped bounds with the surveillance and suspicion, and I'm truly sorry and ashamed. But there are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay I have never told you. You are my wife and partner, and I know we should have no secrets. I intended to tell you everything, but I wanted proof. Instead, a student committed suicide on my watch. You kicked me out of my favorite home, and my stepdaughter hates me. Maybe he's 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 trying to maybe he's putting he's doing this because he's oh, it's really bright in here all of a sudden. Maybe he's doing this because he's actually trying to f get evidence to um find out what's going on because he's actually uh, but he's playing the part so he doesn't get caught, you know what I mean? Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. Yeah, actually. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Mr. Madsen, thank you for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. What is going on? None of this makes any sense. I wonder if David is going to the party. End of the world party. Literally. Oh, we need to find a key, I bet. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Okay, I'm not seeing anything over here I can interact with. It's kind of interesting. Oh! oh. Look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, okay. I better move his plank if I want to. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. She's talking to a plank. Think about that. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Alrighty then. I haven't seen anything else here. Um, none of this is interactable. We've got the lockers here that we can't get into. Oh. Oh. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, and I need to find a way to break this padlock. Code. Crowbar. There's got to be a code here somewhere. There has to be. Where was what that thing that I saw? David do for well, I, I had a little look around. I couldn't find anything, so I'm just gonna... <sighs> I guess we're just gonna bust it open. Okay, brute force. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. There's gotta be a combo in here somewhere. Notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Weird. What the hell is this? Latitude, longitude. The hell you need that for, man? Okay. Twilight zone. Oh, picture of me. It's a little creepy. Score. Back to Chloe now. And now he's going to see that it's been tampered with, clearly. Which is not good. I'm sure there is a code somewhere. It's oh, amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us.
Okay, that's the principal, I think, isn't it? I can't remember. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for the school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, <laughs> I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot floor teacher. Go. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Okay. I finally get to play a little What's bit. He okay, is he out here in the field or is he inside? Either way, I think we gotta take some pictures before we can do anything. He's playing with his football. That's not Nathan. What's that? Is that a drone? Somebody's flying a drone? Who's flying the drone? Who the hell's flying the drone? Justin. Oh, that's so weird, man. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. Take different photos. Don't give up. Don't give up that easy. Just stay away from your sketchbook for a while. You need to keep taking the shot, as Mr. Jefferson says. Stay away from my sketchbook? You don't know me, Max. That's like you staying away from your camera. I think I'll just sit here bummed out, thanks. Oh great, I feel like a total a-hole. I talked to him yet? Speak. Hey Daniel. Skip. Hola Max. Hola. Take different photos. Maybe you should try different subjects. Something more like your portraits. That makes sense. But not if I can't choose the subjects in class. If only I could draw my photographs. I think I'll just sit here bummed out, thanks. That was a little better. Okay, out of my way! Okay, I have to bounce. Good thing I didn't let Chloe take that money from Principal Wells. Huh, okay. Memorial tribute, very sad. To away another batch of dead birds uh, today. This guy's awesome. Let's listen to this guy, watch. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. Okay, the animals. Tell me about the animals. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Okay, he, does he actually know, or am I just going to hear some loony talk? Okay, beached whales. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, 
and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. They're killing themselves, because what's coming is much worse than death. Eco-disaster. Do you think this is some kind of eco-disaster, or...? I think it's more than that. Somebody is causing all this to happen. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. Oh, that was a little creepy. Okay, squirrels. Oh, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them... Oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Really? Maybe this is where I get a photo opportunity. Makes me mad. Makes me pissed off. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fast. Now we can get two squirrels. As Michelle Grant, get that food in your belly. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look at the weather and the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. Okay. No. Out for each other these days. Okay. Good to see you what? out and about, Max. Let's see what she has to say. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. And I swear, it's not about that petition you didn't sign. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, Nathan. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. You know him better. You probably know him better. I've tried. Nathan is a Prescott, and with that comes a lot of baggage. Too much for one teenager. This week was the proof. Principal Wells did the right thing. I know. Nathan needs real help. Yes, he does, Max. I did try once, but Mr. Prescott didn't appreciate my help. I did see Nathan leaving the campus looking angrier than usual, so maybe it's good you haven't found him. Okay, um, why would it want me to rewind that? Re okay, what? Hold on. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Wait. Chloe. Oh, you don't need to be rewind? Okay. Two squirrels! Photo! Make love! Two squirrels, one bagel. It's not what it sounds like. <laughs> Trust me. What? Did I miss That's one? That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive. Oh, here we go. It's over here. There we go. Cairn. Cairn? Cairn. Photo. A pile of rocks. One photo. For posterity. Okay. All right, let's go back to Chloe then. Chloe! Where the hell she is? Here she is. What's up? Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. Hmm. It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Batman. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Probably says Nathan on it. Just guessing. Okay, uh, the Vortex Club sucks ass. Love, Evan. Fuck that dorm curfew shit. Where is he? 
and asked her what happened to Kate. Yeah, I feel so bad for her and her family. Skateboarding is not a crime. Crime. Bigfoot's got balls. The Prescott's rule this town. This can him? only be Nathan's room. What a frickin' creep, man. The fuck, man? He's a smack in the face! The hell's this? It's a fire extinguisher. You're nuts! I get it. Um... Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. This is weird. Uh... Okay, I'll read that in a minute. Camera. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. Bastard. Okay. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but... So cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. The best son in the world. Yeah. That is so Chloe. Hey asshole, we need to talk or I'm going to tell everybody what you did and you're going to pay, motherfucker. Oh my god. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. The hell is this? Okay, I don't remember. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. What? Man, this is weird! Nathan clearly has his fetish down. That's a free that's a freaky dude, man. I'm a little I'm a little scared. Prescription pills. I don't think this prescription has helped Nathan. Okay, use his computer. You can Nathan always find his something. Way into this party. Bad sign. Hey gorgeous, let me know what you're wearing to the vortex this week so I can wear something just as silent and expensive. I'm psyched about going and I'm picking up some serious pate favors. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have an end of the world theme, then let's do it fucking on point. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Nate, I know this has been a stressful week and your mother and I are here to talk, to talk if need be. Just make an appointment anytime. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but now let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you to calm. I need you calm and quiet while Pan Estates being developed. I know being a Prescott is a Prescott is a burden, and I'll guide you into this room step by step as I did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shithole town is going to get an anemo along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son. Your Too father. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. To do to do Bem from Brazil. What, little brother? It's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting scholastic life at Blackwell. I brag to all my co-workers in the Peace Corps that my talented bro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. Even though I can't always check my mail or phone, please, please, please send me some new photos of campus so I can live vicariously through your lens. And yes, mother told me. You've been in trouble and father has been on your ass, but you have to either ignore him or stand up. You know I love dad, Nate, but I'm also in the jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into one just for his legacy. End of lecture. You're at school. I just wanted to make sure you feel at home. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is Dexter. strong stuff. Wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Nathan, I'd like to apologize for the recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students will use that to make their own name at Blackwell. 
I know your father was upset while I've assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. I don't want to... I don't want you distracted from school, and I'm certain this matter will be settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, you know I'm available. Uh-huh. Right. I'd cry, too, if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Oh, goodness. Um, a gun? What? Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Yeah. What? Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. This is fucking creepy! These films all have a dark pattern. Does he, like, torture people or something? Oh, man. That dickhead stole one of my selfies. Nathan took this from Kate's altar. Why? What is with this dude? This is, so, like, so weird. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. <sighs> if only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. That does look pretty cool. It's a whale. No, it's a bird. Wait, no, it's a whale. I think it's a whale, but he turned into a bird. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. Projector. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Okay, I haven't seen anything. I've looked at everything. Scratch. Oh, what's this? What the hell are all those marks Somebody on panicking? the floor? Indeed. Okay, I think... Oh, one more thing. Nathan Prescott. All-American teen. Mm-hmm. Okay. Move. Oh, Let's find right, out where you're hiding. Right. Oh Somebody yes, little scratching. Fun. You are mine now. Okay, this is probably it. Let's get out of here. Now it's I have Nathan's it. phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. And then put it back where it was. Cause then he's gonna know it was stolen, right? Hey, Chloe, got a phone. What's up? Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you oh, doing fuck. in my dorm? What are you talking about? What was in your dorm? You're we such went. a nosy bitch, Max. Stop no, right there, Nathan. Make Stop me ho. No. Max, I got this. Oh, man. Get Here the fuck again. out of my face. <clears throat> oh, that hurt both of you. You are so fucking dead! Uh, Get off me, bro! Are you kidding me? Uh, Holy shit, man. Stop Warren. Stay out of it. I gotta stop. I mean, I kind of enjoyed that, but... Stop him, anyway. Warren, Whatever. Stop it. Come on. Even though he had a gun and everything. Oh, oh my head. Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you, you're all dead. Let's go now. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. He owns you. Is he just saying that as a metaphor? Maybe he really does. Definitely deserved a beating. We should try to be better than that. So, do I need to rewind? Can I change that? Like, I don't understand. Oh, I still have it in my hand. 
Okay, let's see what happens now. Skip. No, he still does it. That's as far as I can go back. Let's see what happens. Nothing changes. Okay, I just wanted to be sure. Nothing changed. It's all the same every time. Let's get out of here. Damn. That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. What if they're investigating the wrong people? Man, Watch that it. guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beatdown to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Okay. Is he, I wonder if he's back at his trailer. By the Two Whales Diner. Why is my face so bright all of a sudden? I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. <laughs> well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. Why isn't there any crews out there trying- I could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So, let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Okay. So, uh as I was trying to say, why isn't there anybody cleaning up the whales? I'm just gonna let them sit there and rot on the beach? Doesn't make any sense. Okay. Sandpost! Look! The forest seemed quiet. There's no sign of life. There's gotta be a photo op out here somewhere. Oh, footsteps, likely on the beach. Oh, the whale as well. Or deer. Flyer. Another signpost, do not feed the animals. Um, footsteps, footsteps. There's no parking on the beach. Whale! I may not know quantum speak, but there has to be an explanation. Can I not take a picture of it from here? No, I can't. That's weird. It this blows one. my there we go. mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Okay. And, uh... The footsteps, I'm not sure. I'm not really seeing them here. Got some bottles. Table. Uh, garbage bag. whoop de do. Okay, let's go.
Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, or bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Jeez, man. Chill out. I, I don't have the money. Yet. What well, do you have? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, yeah, oh, right. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Uh, you did. You already did. I'm sorry. You already did. You already did. Ah, oh, you fucking mental. I lost my keys, but I changed the lock. You better goddamn not be snooping around here. No, no, I'm not. I... I... Ah, oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want <laughs> something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! Oh Get it! Oh my god. Step the fuck back now! Oh, come on. No, don't do that. Oh shit. Oh! oh! You oh! fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! Oh my god is right! Oh my sweet poo! Ba back that shit up! <laughs> oh, you're in trouble now. Oh, big time. You're done. You're toast. Oh no! Chloe. Oh wow. I just shot a man and his dog. I just shot a man and his dog. I killed Frank Bowers. Frank you Bowers. saved my life, Chloe. It, it was self-defense for both Rewind. of us. Rewind! Max? Frank is really dead. I know, but we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. Why is she not... I don't get it. Why That's is she it. not rewinding? I don't get it. Let's get out of here. Sorry. And if, anytime sorry. you can rewind, let's not rewind the time where my friend murders some dude and his dog. Jesus. Chloe actually killed Frank. She'll never forgive herself. Or forget this. And Chloe, I can that. Only I can change the past. I am ready. Dog bowl, look. Oh, fresh meat. So Pompidou must be okay. Good doggy. Okay. Listen, Chloe. <laughs> I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Watch your mouth. Get rid of the gun. Watch your mouth. Get rid of the gun. You won't like this, but you need to get rid of that gun. No, Max, I don't like that at all. But I trust you. And girl, if I need that gun, you better rewind Wait, no. fast. Yeah, because if she doesn't have the gun, there's still going to be the chance where he's going to run up with the knife, and then it's going to be the other way. So I need to make sure I pick the right option. Oh, look. Oh, look, the Wonder Twins. I Close the door. No fight. No weapons. Close. What the hell did he say? No weapons. No fight. What? Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, 
We only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. So what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? You don't get it. Help or else. I'm sorry. You don't get it. I'm gonna go with you don't get it. I'm tempted to do I'm sorry, but I'm gonna be a little risky here. You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it. Especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the oh, way fuck. you talk to me like you, like you know more than I do. No, no, I'm not. I, I... Uh-oh. Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not oh, getting fuck. any handouts from me. I w Yes, Frank, without those Blackwell shits as customers. Oh, no. Down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Oh, Get it, shit. bitch? Get it? Uh-oh. How do you like my play, kid? Huh? Uh-oh. Yep. Chloe! Oh. Get off of me! Motherfucker! Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Maybe we should tell her to watch her mouth instead. Fear that or pick a different option. What the fuck is going on, man? It's not what I meant to do. Okay, let's just tell her to watch her mouth. Listen. Mouth. Max, I should have. Watch your mouth. Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. Pull the trigger. Or how you used to be. Oh, yeah. No balls. You scared me. Our old hideout. Um, it had no bullets. Let me just tell him that. There were no bullets in the gun. We were safe, tough guy. There is something wrong with you, girly. You pulled the trigger because you wanted to show me how safe I was? I just... I didn't know what I was doing. Dude, get off her ass! She was protecting me! You've got a knife and God knows what else! Are you really afraid of Max here? I'm not afraid of anybody except my oh, maker! Oh my and goodness. And you little bitches think you can outsmart me? Why, because I'm trailer trash? You're Blackwell trash! And it's time to take you out! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever- t Oh my god! Kill Frank Bauer. You kill Frank Bowers. Good fucking job. Ah! I'm helping Chloe. Our old hideout. You scared me. Our old hideout. Helping Chloe. Our old hideout. I don't that know. That was our old hideout. You shouldn't have hassled oh, us there. It's not what old I... hideout. What are you, the Goonies? Ah! I can still fuck you up afterwards. There's no. Okay, here yeah, we yeah. go. I think it's the last option kind I can of... try now. All right. Okay. Frank. Come on, man. You, you come in peace. Um, helping Chloe. Actually, it's either you scared me or helping Chloe. Let me just. I was helping Chloe after you threatened to cut her. Oh. Remember? You know, you're lucky all I brought was a knife. Otherwise, you and your girlfriend wouldn't even be bothering me. You really think you're tough shit, girly. I just. Dude, get off her ass. Are you she kidding was protecting me? me? You've got a knife, and God knows what else. Are you really afraid of Max here? I'm not afraid of anybody except my maker. And you little bitches think you Down. You scared me. Be honest, Frank. You scared me. You held a knife on my friend. I didn't want to pull the trigger. I could tell by the way you held that pop gun. With both hands, like it was a magnum. Or maybe I shouldn't have brought that knife to a gunfight. I only want to shoot with my camera. I swear. Ask Chloe. Look, Frank, Max doesn't need a gun anyway. So are we cool? Please? Okay, we're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. Oh, we're only fuck. here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Dog rescue. Pompadour is cute. How'd you know his name? Trained to kill. Gave dog a bone. Dog rescue. Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. 
No, all right? It was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Oh, come on. Fuck, man. All this shit I can... Ah. I don't want to accuse him of anything because that'll anger him. A photo, a letter, a bracelet. I don't know. A letter? Listen, I read Rachel's letter. Oh, I know fuck. how much she cares now about Now he's going to know I was in his you camp. That letter? Huh? The one in my RV? Chill. Are you fucking insane? Yes. You and Chloe. Okay, um, Rachel's photo. Okay, letter's no good. Bracelet's no good. What are you hiding? I can't imagine that's going to be it, but I'm thinking, watch that be it. Unless he needs to see a picture of her or something. Let's show him a Rachel picture. Rachel said she gave you one of her favorite photos. Oh, for fuck's sake! That sakes. proves how much she cares. And you care. That's why you have to help. I didn't know it was... How the hell did you know about yeah. that photo? That's my favorite picture of her. I can look at it any time and she'll always be there for me. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice. Or her laugh. Anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Really? That was it? Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. Yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Okay. Oh my god, that was Thank so you. frustrating. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Thanks, seriously. Frank. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Maybe finding Rachel will turn his life around. Okay. Now, what is it exactly that I have? That was cool. Frank gave up the code to help us. Yeah, so what do I need to take a picture of here? Footsteps? I missed footsteps somewhere. No idea. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Okay, guys, uh, I've been recording now for a long time, and I'm actually out of time today. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I was really hoping to do this whole thing in one video, but I guess it's not going to be the case. Um, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.